everyone. Welcome back. Now it's a tutorial time. Okay, I show you the answer for the objective question. Okay, if you do know how to do the calculation, you can PM me by using your diagram. Okay, the answer should be here. 1 until 13. Okay, all the objective question. Okay, then I want to go through is a structure question. Okay, let's see the structure question. There's a question 14. Go and read the question first. A car of the mass 800 kilograms. Car, 800 kilograms. Okay, now they're moving the velocity is a 20. Okay, after that they hit the truck. Okay, hit the truck. The truck, the mass is a 1,200 kg. Okay, which traveling in the same direction. They make car and also truck same direction. The truck moves 10 ms negative 1. After the collision, the two vehicles that interlock and move together, then the time collision is 0 0.4 seconds. The time collision is 0 0.4 seconds. Okay, so from here we understood this one is what momentum, what collision. That's an inelastic collision. That means they are stick together. They stick together, move with same velocity. That velocity we call what? Common velocity. Okay, so from here, we need to use the inelastic formula to calculate the answer. Okay, remember the formula? Okay, I draw first. Okay, we write the formula. <coughs> okay, this is the formula for the inelastic. So we just apply. The first one is a car. 800, then the velocity is 20. Okay, because direction is the same, so we don't need to put the negative. So we're still using 1200 and 10. Okay, when they interlock, interlock means the mass you need to plus together. Two, uh, 800, 1200, behind 2000. Okay, then we find the two. Finally, both will move how fast? Okay, we find the answer V2 is a 14 ms negative 1. That means the car and also the truck move same velocity. Okay, now they want to calculate the force. Okay, you need to calculate the first one, the force exert on the car by the truck. So another one is the force exert on the truck by the car. So the first one is uh, on the car. So we calculate the car first. Okay, force formula, F, okay, we're still using the impulsive force, V huh? minus U over the T. So the force exert on the car, so we take the car mass. Final velocity just now, we find it, that's a 14. So 14 minus the initial for the car is 20. The car when starting is a 20. So divide by the time, the time from the question provided is uh, 0.4 seconds. So this one answer should go negative because it's 14 minus 20. So negative means what? It means the car becomes slowed down. Okay, so I find the force for the car acting by the truck is a negative 12,000 newton. Okay, this is the first one answer. Then the force acting on the car by the truck. Okay, now the opposite, number two. Number two is the force acting to the truck by the car. So we're calculating the truck one. Okay, F. And okay, the truck is 1,200. Okay, the truck when starting is a 10. Final become 14. Being faster already. Okay, the time taken is still the same. 0.4. So I get it. The answer is a 12,200 Newton also. That means conclusion is. The car acting to the truck, the truck acting to the car actually is the same forces, agree or not? Just one go forward, another one hit backward. So you see, one got negative, one is a positive. Mean the force acting to the truck and also the car should be the same. Magnitude is the same, just opposite direction. Okay, the force acting in opposite direction. Okay, understand eh? So from here, we need to answer the following question. Let's call you to compare. You need to compare the answer B1 and also B2. Then you state the law in both. Okay, remember the law in both. We're talking about something that's an action, but in the opposite direction. So you think about that one is one law. So we answer the C first, we compare. 
compare the answer B1 and B2. So we compare the first one, magnitude same or not? Magnitude for the both situation is the same. Okay, but the direction in opposite direction. So this one we do the comparison. Then they ask you what is the physics, uh, the law, the law in both. The law in both is a Newton third law of motion. Remember Newton third law explosion. Okay, the same like this one situation. You acting like this, are acting like this, but in opposite direction. So that one is the answer. Okay, now I show you the answer. The answer is the magnitude of the two forces are equal. Magnitude means value equal. Okay, but in opposite direction. Both move in opposite direction. Then the, the law we involve is a Newton third law of motion. This one is the answer. Okay, so we complete the question 14. Then we're going to see the question 15. 15, you need to underline the keyword. Okay, first one, they say two identical plasticine spherical ball. Okay, two ball also same size. They're also spherical shape. Before they are released from the same height. Same height means the velocity become the same. Okay, figure B show the ball that hitting on the surface of the wood. Another one is a sponge. Okay, it was observed the plasticine stop more quickly when they hit on the wood. So understood everybody hit on the wood. Wood is a hard surface. When hard surface, what you think about the time taken? Time taken becomes short, so they're faster to stop. How about the spine? Spine is a soft material. So they take the longer time to stop. Because they want to go in, compress, then come up again. So that means they take longer time, means the impulsive force becomes smaller. Okay, now, after we refer the diagram, we go to answer the first question. What does the word momentum mean? So you just write the definition of momentum. That's a product of the mass and velocity. That's all. Okay, product of the mass and velocity. Okay, then we go to the number two. Number two, you need to underline what they want to ask. Actually, here got five points. Okay, I'll show you what's the five point. Okay, first one. Compare the shape of the plastic symbol. Okay, one point. The second one, the surface of the wood. Okay, second point. Third point, surface of the sponge. So, compare three things. There's the shape of the ball, shape of the uh, surface of the wood, there's the surface of the sponge, before and when the plastic symbol hit to the surface. So, that means you must say about before and after. So, that means the ball before hit, how about the shape? So, after hit, what happened for the ball? What happened for the wood surface? Another one is the spine. What happened for the ball and what happened for the spine surface? This one is a comparison. So, here got three marks. Okay, the next one, they say relate the chain of the shapes of the plasticine ball and the surface. So, you need to relationship between the span or you say the wood of the surface and also the time taken. Uh, no, time taken. There's a related the shape of the plasticine ball and also the... Uh, relate the chain of the shape of the plasticine ball and also the surface. So from here we find it, the surface is more harder. Then I find it, the shape of the ball chain the, uh, chain the, chain the size, they will more often, yes or no, more bigger. So if the surface is harder, the chain shape of the ball become uh, more frequently. So that means the shape, they more changes, lah, the one for the ball. Okay, and the last one, they want you to put the physics concept. What's the physics concept we're talking about? That? Okay, so now we go to answer one by one. So everyone, have you answered it? Now I show you the answer for the comparison, three comparison. Okay, first one, before. <coughs> Before that, the shape of the plasticine ball hit to the surface, which is spherical. I mean, before hit, actually, there's a nothing. There's a no change, there's still spherical. Okay, now you're going to see after hitting, we one by one first. We're going to hit on the wood first. So, after hit, 
everything on the wood surface. First one, we're talking about what happened for the ball. Okay, the ball will become flattened. They become flattened. Refer the diagram here, they become flattened. Okay, after that, how about the wood? The wood surface is remain unchanged. So you're talking about the ball heating and also the wood surface after heating. Okay, then the following. How about the sponge? After heating the sponge surface, okay, the ball, the ball shape still remains the same. That means the ball is unchanged. Okay, what happened for the surface? Whereas the surface of the sponge is deformed. Deformed means the shape run ready. They're not like the same original. That means they go down a little bit. We can say about the deform. Okay? Pentuk sudah tukar. Deform. Okay, now, <clears throat> after do the three comparison, we need to do the relationship. Relationship between the changes of the shape and also the surface. So from here, we find it as the surface contact is harder. So you find it the processing board is easy to change the shape. So this one is the relationship. How to change, we do not. We just, we just know the time taken is shorter, that means harder. So when it's harder, when you just hit, you find the ball that easier to change the shape. And the last one, they ask you what's the physical concept. The physical concept, that's an impulsive force. Okay, we don't have any law. There's just one concept, that's an impulsive force. Okay, then we go to the last one. Explain the changes in the energy occur from the moment passing ball release until they reach to the position of the in figure B. That means they reach on the wood. What energy changes? Okay, here got two energy only. So I don't write here. You just read. You just listen what I'm talking about that. One is a, when they before to come now, we call a potential energy. I think you from three learn already. That's a gravitational potential energy. So gravitational. So I write here. Gravitational potential energy. Okay, then when it comes down to energy, there's a kinetic. Okay, so this one is two energy that changes when the ball falls down. Gravitational potential energy convert to the kinetic energy. So from this one, our lesson 2.7 is finished. So everybody please take notes. This is a tutorial answer. If you do know for objective, you can PM me in the I will tell you how to do it. Okay? So thank you for watching.